Okay, so this video aims to show some of the uh, functionality that we've achieved with the um, uh, PS2 mouse um, module. Uh, it's based on that from the uh, Open Cores uh, website, opencores.org, um, on some of the, the PS2 interface. So um, this kind of wraps that and just demonstrates it on the uh, LEDs here. Um, so we've got the Microsoft mouse, just a standard PS2 mouse. Yeah, I'm connected in here via the PS2 port. The board's powered and programmed okay uh, with the code that's on the website. Um, so you can uh, uh, download that if you need to. Um, and yeah, I've built built that into a bit of a into a module, um, just to make it a bit easy to include uh, into some of the other some other projects. Uh, it was a standalone program before. I just wanted it as a modular thing. Um, so that's what we've we've done there and. Uh, be able to use that on the website so anyway um, what we've got on here the first two LEDs demonstrate the left uh, sorry the right and left mouse buttons uh, the next three um, give uh, a value for the um, X increment and, um, and the next three again for the for the Y increment so um, if you have to notice that if we click the buttons the left button there yep yeah. uh, the right button as well so left and right left and right left and right. The, the glitch was because I moved the mouse a moment ago. Um, so left, uh, so right even and left and both together. you notice that if I move the mouse it, you get pulses one way or another. I'm looking at the most sensitive bits here so it's a bit sporadic but um, I can assure you that it's working well um, under the hood and as you can see um, incrementing one way the other way, so everything's uh, these values are obviously still there, but the crude way that the uh, LEDs are implemented um, kind of makes it a little bit, a little bit buggy. But uh, as you can see, the functionality is okay. So yeah, if you're uh, interested, you can get that from the website. Uh, and uh, that's about it.